guys, how you doing? I uh, thought of today I would introduce you to my 1995 HZJ80 Land Cruiser. Uh, I picked this up as a replacement for the 90 series after my unfortunate accident and yeah, I'll take you around and show you all the ins and outs of this, uh, this rig. Alright, so this came with a uh, worn XDC winch, a uh, steel cable which will be changed out to a synthetic rope winch at some point later on down the track to be a bit more safer. Um, has the ARB bull bar, which is period specific for this one because it has the roller winch set up on the front there. Um, have just recently repaired my original GME mount from the 90 series when I snapped the cable off on one of my first trips actually. So just had that repaired, so that's all done. Um, this is not my wiring, but it will be tidied up. So, uh, winch is hooked up to a couple of cat batteries. So, this is the big main one here for starting. This one's the auxiliary, um, which is not very big amp power. I'm not even sure how many amp power this one is 52 amp power. So, not a lot of capacity at all. So, that would probably need to be changed out at some point. My AGM won't fit in there, but I do have plans to get a lithium. Uh, it's running just a Red Arc SBI 12. Uh, um, isolator there so that was put in by the previous owner it has an onboard ARB air compressor um, it's already pre-wired in there that all works really well I did change the air fitting to suit my TJM air inflation kit because I couldn't get the compressor out of the 90 series um, what else can I show you here? So that's pretty much it. And then obviously the trusty 1HZ non-turbo engine. So um, that one there is running instead of advanced headers. As you can see down there, which are pretty old and looking pretty sad. Um, same with the exhaust. This has had a patch job from the previous owner as well. As you'll be able to see there, um, they've patched it up because it's leaking. Um, I am getting that sorted out shortly. Uh, with a new exhaust system, so uh, I'll do a bit of a sound comparison of a before and after. Um, came with the Safari win uh, Safari winch. Came with the Safari snorkel, um, which is great. Saves me having to cut holes and do another snorkel install again. Um, so that's the front end there. Not a whole lot going on. I have put a new clutch master and slave in it because that was knackered. Um, Whole new set of brake lines through it, um, braided stainless steel lines. Um, I think that's about it. Oh yeah, and I did put the safety release on here. Always a good idea, guys. Especially if you're out bush, have one with the pressure relief valve on it. Um, that way, you'll vent your pressure and you can open it up without burning your hand from, from it exploding everywhere. Um, so yeah, she's the factory GXL model has flares on it from standard so got the standard steps I'm going to go around the driver's side here so got my quad lock mount out of the 90 series so it's just holding my phone at the moment which is great um, got the taco dash being a GXL it's got power windows it's air conditioned I've put a new JVC head unit in it um, came with the black duck seat covers and the seats underneath are like brand new uh, I'll quickly show you that looks like it's never been sat on but how good is that guys been very well looked after in that respect just the maintenance was lacking when I got it and I've had to do all of that so I've done all the, all the fluids um, has the ARB roof rack on it as well So that what came with it. That's not an issue there. It's a tradie rack So make it a bit easier to mount a shovel holder if I want to run a high lift jack I could do that as well uh, In the back I've just whacked another set of Titan drawers in because they're really good bang for buck um, Again, they're a bit deeper than the 90s. They're 1070 long where the 90 was 900 long has a fridge slide that all works well no issues there they have changed the lock mechanism here now they did have a push button now it's a lever um, 
And yeah, obviously this is the tailgate model. It's the factory option plastic covering over the carpet so you don't destroy your carpet, which is really cool. Running the same license plates. So uh, I managed to get the license plates over from the 90 series as well. I was asked if I wanted to buy the rights to them when I uh, bought this one, and I said, hell yeah. So got to carry that over. It's got the tailgate, got the GXL wheels on it at the moment, just some, some Cooper's AT tires, nothing special. And, and yeah, that's it. Also, while I remember, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll be sure to answer them. Take care and I'll see you next time.